So I've got a problem. The computer that I use for editing video and all of the content that you see on this channel is in my office, which is on the second floor next to the router and where the internet comes into the house. But the computer that has the big storage array, the big six terabyte RAID that actually, God, needs to get bigger, is at the other end of the house, on the first floor, literally in the opposite corner. And it's only connected to the network via Wi-Fi. If you can imagine moving hundreds of gigabytes of footage via this USB Wi-Fi dongle through a television and like eight walls, you can see the problem. Also, that one downstairs is the gaming computer on Wi-Fi. Getting one end of the cable up from the office on the second floor to the attic was relatively easy. I put a hole in the ceiling in the closet of the office and I just sent the cable down. Unfortunately, the other end of the cable that needed to end up two stories down in the living room wall was more of a pain. I would need to, from here in the attic, drill down through two stories of external wall and then somehow magically catch that cable through a tiny hole that I drill in the wall behind the TV. And that, for a number of reasons, is not going to happen. This led me to what is without a doubt the most bizarre home improvement technique that I have ever tried to implement. Running Ethernet through the HVAC. Also, this channel totally started as maker-style projects. So, despite the fact that I'm not, like, doing something with electricity. This is actually still totally on brand. Theoretically, you could route a cable from the attic to any room in the house using this technique. You just have to be able to figure out which duct goes to which room. This big duct exits here and it goes down through a hole in what is now the floor, goes down two stories, I believe, into a big rectangular box that acts as a manifold. From that manifold, you've got a whole bunch of little tubes that go out to every room. So what I've done is block up all of the air vents on the first floor that aren't the one in the living room right next to the computer. That means that all of the airflow that comes out of this unit when I turn the fan on is going to go through here, down into the big manifold. All of it into that manifold is going to be directed out through the same duct, which is going to come out in the living room. And as that air moves on its journey from the attic to the living room, it's going to be carrying with it this parachute. So this is just a plastic grocery bag, and I have tied it to a piece of nylon cord. So I just pulled this out of the toolbox. I'm actually really glad that I went for the nylon and not the sort of twiny cord, because this actually pulls really hard through the vents. Once I insert this parachute into the duct, uh, all of the air that's coming from this fan is going to be moving this way, and it's actually going to inflate the bag. So the bag is going to fill the entire area of the round duct. So I actually don't know how big this duct is because it's covered in insulation, but if it is an eight inch diameter duct, which feels likely, then 16 square inches times pi is going to give you the cross-sectional area of that duct. And if this fan can manage a tenth of a PSI of pressure, that tenth of a PSI multiplied by the area of that eight inch duct is going to be five pounds. So it's gonna be like dropping a five pound weight when I put this parachute into this tube. It's gonna pull pretty hard. I have no idea what the actual pressure is, but a tenth of a PSI seems kind of reasonable. And for all of the people that write comments that I need to use metric for absolutely everything, that would be 689 pascals. I have no idea how much pressure this unit actually puts out, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, God. You can hear it inflate. This is pulling really hard. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's going, oh. No, sorry, that was it going through the manifold. It's slowing down, is it done? Go look.
<laughs> yup. There it is. I have threaded the AC. See if that works. At this point, all I had to do was attach the end of the ethernet cable to the string and pull it through. I won't say that that was easy, but I will say that it was less photogenic, so I'm gonna gloss over it. The final step is, of course, to try to make it look nice and anchor the whole thing to the ceiling and thread it all the way back behind the television. That is the least satisfying plug noise I've ever heard. For how bizarre of a home improvement project this was, isn't that just the goofiest thing? I think it turned out really well. Speeds are a whole lot faster than Wi-Fi, and you can't even tell unless you look really close that there's a wire coming out of the vent in my living room. Unfortunately, the most disappointing thing about this entire project is that faster ping doesn't actually make you better at video games. 